calls himself Dr. Gorey. Where did he come from? The answers lie in another part of the universe, some 40,000 light years from our own sun, on a line with a constellation we call the Archer. There, in the Geisty solar system, is the planet E, the fifth planet out from its sun. Planet E is among the most civilized and sophisticated planets in the entire universe. Its technology and culture far outstrips our own Earth. The inhabitants of planet E, ape men like Dr. Gori, were peace-loving as well as civilized. One day they chose Dr. Gori as their leader. He was a brilliant scientist with an IQ far above that any human could hope to attain. However, the citizens of planet E had made a grave mistake, for Dr. Gori was a mutant. Gori felt that the advanced technology his world had developed was being wasted on peaceful objectives. He began to design and manufacture deadly weapons with which he could overthrow the central government of his planet and then extend the domination of his kind to other worlds in the universe. Fortunately, his plan became known to the government before he could carry it out. Dr. Gori was tried and found guilty. In their society, there was no need for a death sentence. People's minds could be altered so their evil or disagreeable natures no longer existed. But an army officer named Karras helped him to escape before the sentence could be carried out. They left their solar system in a flying saucer. Dr. Gori and Karras wandered aimlessly through space for many years until one day a magnetic storm swept their ship across space and brought them to our planet Earth. He had never seen such beauty. It was like an emerald in space. But the emerald had a flaw, one that mankind had created. The flaw was pollution. Gori realized instantly that he could use this flaw for his own ends. He created monsters that lived and fed on industrial waste, smog, garbage, and cadmium. These monsters would help him become ruler of the planet Earth. Karas, look out there. It is just as I had planned. Hedron's deadly gases are destroying everything in his way. Everything. Yes. These earthlings are very strange creatures indeed. their resources with a thought for the future. They are set on destroying their own world. With Hedron, we will conquer this race of fools easily.